Hi everyone, this is Paolo. So welcome to just another dang how to channel. On this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use WordPress with Docker on your Mac. So um, from the tutorials that I had on this channel, I've been setting up Apache, MySQL and PHP every time on the Mac. So with this new technology called Docker, you don't have to worry about um, the environment anymore. You just focus on your app and you could uh, you could run your app on a container that would handle the environment for you. So let me sh quickly show you my current setup. So this is running on Apache with PHP and everything. So the way I do it is I um, Go to my sites folder and I have WordPress installed here and then I put my uh, themes inside and then I start developing from here. So if I open that, um, you would see this is my theme. So I'm going to show you a way to work uh, with this without the <coughs> needed setup to do all those environments set up like Apache. So first thing is go to Docker um website so that's docs.docker.com and from here um you could click on the get docker and what i'm using now is the community edition so from there go on click on the mac os and it would redirect you to download it from the docker hub so from here just log in sign up it's free and download and install so once you install it, you would see this icon at the top um, uh, menu bar and you would see my Docker is running. So that's straightforward. Just drag and drop it um, from the to your applications folder. So if I quickly open the terminal and show you um, Docker, So when I go docker.info, it would show you information about the Docker uh, um, I'm running on. So it's 18.09.2. So before we go into neat degree, I have some prepared some slides and to discuss a little bit about Docker. So on this tutorial, we're going to tackle uh, how to use um, WordPress with Docker on your Mac for theme development and how to do it for plugin development. So what is Docker? Docker is the way to deploy and run and build your applications on a container. How is it different from uh, virtual machines, you may ask? We'll get to that. So benefits of uh, container containerization is it's flexible it's lightweight it's interchangeable it's portable so portable meaning if you build it on your machine you could deploy it anywhere with the same as long as it's the same infrastructure it's scalable you could easily uh, replicate this um, containers and scale your application and it's stackable you could add more services uh, especially now that we're going to micro um, microservices. So this is the approach that they're taking for this one. So microservices is you, one app, your application is just doing one thing specific. And then you just um, tie those applications, those services together to build your application. So the con a container runs natively on the Linux and all shares the kernel of the host machine. So unlike uh, VM, which you see here on the diagram, uh, it has a full blown access to the operating system. And some of those you don't really need with container. It's very lightweight. It runs on the same level as the applications on your computer. So uh, all you need for this is an image. So an image will have your application, some li uh, runtime libraries that you need for your application, the environment variables that you need to, uh, that's needed, and the configuration files. And then what would happen is your image uh, will be used as a instance for the container. So your image would run on that container. 
and you could have multiple uh, containers for that same image and that's how um, your application scales so you define this using a docker file so the docker file is the one you specify which uh, image to use you could build your own image or you could get uh, image from the repository there's heaps of uh, images from the repository the base uh, image and then other people adding their uh, image on, on top of it um, and then there's the docker compose which lets you uh, tie up different services so we'll get to that later once we I show you the docker compose file for uh, WordPress that I have so the way it works as well is there's a docker client when you install um, this, uh, docker for the Mac there will be a docker client this would be the command line and then there's the rest API layer so when you type some requests it gets um, sent to the rest API layer and that communicates to the docker server and then the docker server which runs as a daemon at their machine receives those requests from the docker CLI and then um, performs the necessary action it needs so as you can see here we have the client which does the command docker build docker pool or a docker run and then the docker host is where where the docker daemon is running for in this case it's running on our uh, mac um, it could also run on a physical server or it could run on a virtual host and so on so from here it gets the request there's the Im existing image that it would first check if the image is on your local if not it would try to get it from the registry and then make an instance of that image into a container cool so let's get into it so i'm going to show you my um template for the vx code for the docker compose file so this is the docker compose file so it has a version and then there's some services so it's based on yaml if uh, you don't know yaml it's like a, a way to um organize and write uh, scripts it's very similar syntax to python where you use tabs and spaces so so here i'm saying um create two services once a database and this database would pull on the image of my sql and then i have a volume so volumes allows you to map um, volumes on your machine to the container and I have options to restart in some environments like my SQL root password and such. And then I have another service here, which is WordPress, which pulls down the image from the WordPress latest from the repository as well. And this one depends on the DB. So my WordPress won't launch without the DB service. And it maps to the 8000 port. And I'm mapping this volume to the themes volume if i wanted to do a plugin development that would be plugins and then the name of the plugin but for in this case this is themes um let's build that so i'm gonna copy this curtains folder inside my themes folder in the uh, wordpress directory i'm gonna create a new folder here i'm gonna call it demo uh, docker Themes. I drag it, this folder on my VS VS Studio, and oops, let me just copy this first and drag this there, and say don't save. And I'll create a new file. And I'm going to Docker Compose YAML. I'm going to paste that code in that and inside this folder i'm also going to add the um which i already copied but i didn't paste it so i'm going to the themes copy that and go back here and paste 
as you can see this would contain my theme and all I need to do now is just um, call docker compose up and that should spin up a new container for me so I'll open up the terminal from VX code this time so docker compose So let's um, do its thing. Um, the command gets sent to the REST API, and then the daemon is now um, running those commands that I that's specified on this uh, Docker Compose file. So it's gonna load up Apache, MySQL, PHP, or WordPress all in one. So let's give it some time. Should be because this is the first time I'm running it. Um, it's gonna start the installation wizard, and from there, um, that would be the WordPress five minute installation wizard. The famous. Let's try if it's already running. So, all you need to do is go to localhost and go to the port 8000 specified on the file. So, as you can see, it's already running. Um, I'm just gonna give this demo docker uh, docker and let's see uh, password one two three and I'm gonna confirm my password is weak gmail.com and install WordPress and demo uh, oops that's docker and password one two three four as you can see this is uh running on the um container right now so if i go to themes i'll just activate my themes here and visit the website <coughs> and there you go and if I go back to my folder here, I could directly edit this file and it would reflect inside the Docker container. That's because the volume is mounted. So if I just quickly destroy this, pop some garbage there, you would see that it would quickly um, show up in there. So, and then to stop it, just go Control C and that would stop the container and if I refresh this as you can see uh, the website is down and just do docker compose up one more time and it should run it and I'll refresh here it would retain the data it would persist because it's um, being referenced on my docker compose file to be stored on this volume Cool. So that's my how-to for setting up WordPress on your machine. So hope you like it. Um, I'll be adding more content soon. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.